and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing an ice hockey reading, read along, read along, read vlog thing. If you know me and you've followed me on social media for a very long time, you will know that ice hockey books are some of my favourite books. I love an ice hockey. I could read it one after another without getting bored, probably. I don't know. I just love ice hockey. I love ice hockey men. I love the concept of ice hockey. I mean, I read a lot, so I have pretty high standards for ice hockey books because I read so many of them. I, literally since November last year, I've been on my sports romance, small town romance hype. So that meant that I've been reading a lot of ice hockey. So we're gonna do another dedicated ice hockey video. The last one I did didn't do very well, but this time we got some good books and I'm so excited. So these are the books that I've chosen. I'm gonna share with you the ones that I've chosen, these ones I'm gonna be reading and yeah so on my kindle i'm going to be reading the fake out by stephanie archer and i'm very excited to read it i just don't know i read behind the net this year which was on my 24 books to read in 2024 and i really enjoyed it and everyone says that the fake out is even better and it is about her sister hazel and miller which is like beckett's best mate so i'm very excited to read it and it's fake dating so who else do you need then the next one is hannah cohen's her greatest mistake i have been meaning to read this for so long i had the indie copy of this book that's like how long i, ha I wanted to read it but I decided to sell it and get the proper the traditional published ones. As you can tell up here, I have the rest of the series. But I'm so excited to read this. I'm just supposed to read the Lucky Hit series before because this is about their kids. But you don't really need to read it beforehand. You can kind of get the gist of what happens. And she also very, very smartly has in the front, if I get it, a family tree for you guys. So you can go through you can kind of work it out so you don't really need to read the other book i mean they're on kindle they were on kindle limited they might still be in the uk no in america but i know in the uk you have to buy them but they're being like 99p every so often so do you keep an eye out on that the next one is unsteady by peyton corey i have been meaning to read this for ages i saw this was indie published and i was going to get it on kindle limited never got around to it then it got traditionally published by simon and schuster so i had to pre-order it and i am so excited to read this it's apparently like ice hockey version of binding 13 but not as chunky so i'm very excited i love binding 13 i read it all the way back in the day when it wasn't popular in book talk it was like a book that one person recommended to me and i was like i need to read this because i have a feeling this the hype's gonna hit two years after i read it the hype hit and it was so rightly hype i haven't re finished the rest of the series yet but anyway, I wanted to pick this one up due to that because I've been wanting to feel that feeling of Shannon and Johnny for so long. And I have a feeling that this is going to be that. So we're very excited. And then the final book is a classic, The Risk by L. Kennedy. This is the Blair U series. I need to get around to finishing this series. It took me almost two years to read the Off Campus series once I decided to just read it all i read it and devoured it so i want to read the risk next i have so many ice hockey books that i want to read like i've got unravel me by becca mack but i wanted some really simple books i know i'm just gonna fly through because with work right now work is working and i just want simple books so i picked up the risk because it's a chunky one but i can fly through l kennedy books pretty quick i don't really need to fully be like concentrating I can pretty much just like skim read and I know what's going on. So that's why I picked up this one. Plus it's on Kindle Unlimited if I do need to, even though I don't have it anymore, but your girl might just, um, I might just buy it this month, end of this month, who knows. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading this and just devouring it. So they are the four books I'm gonna be reading in this readathon. I am so excited to be reading it. It's not really a readathon, it's a reading vlog, but anywho, I am so excited to read it. So let's get straight on into the video. Same girl, same. Relate so hard to row right now. <laughs> so 
so so far i'm really enjoying this book it's giving binding 13 but in college with a figure skater and an ice hockey guy and i'm really loving it but i just want to know what happens i'm on chapter 20 currently 158 pages in and i'm really enjoying it i look like death because i'm not well and all these clips if i look like death carrying on but i'm annotating it and it's really fun little fun little read if you like binding 13 and you want something ice hockey related and thinner than binding 13 this is giving that vibe and i'm really excited to see where this goes to you right now because i have read two books and i haven't really have spoken to you yet so i'm gonna be speaking to you now but i have read unsteady which i annotated as you guys saw and absolutely loved and the fake out by stephanie archer i really really enjoy them both i'm gonna be doing a full review of each book at the end of this read long reading vlog i'm gonna just do a full like all four books and one after another rapid review time but I did really enjoy them. I haven't filmed a lot of spoke because last week, well, this whole week, I've been really unwell. I suffer with a chronic illness called fibromyalgia and I was just not in it. I was dead. <laughs> I've been really unwell with it. So that's why there's not been a lot of talking. Usually I would, but I've just kind of, I kind of just wanted to do my thing and not have to come on screen when I did not look my best. I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know what's been going on because I love making content with you guys, but sometimes it's really difficult and sometimes I just want to read. So I just wanted to explain that, but I'll be doing a whole like thing at the end for you guys but i'm currently reading her greatest mistake and i'm really enjoying it so yeah i've just like kind of gone through and decluttered my entire bedroom today so that's what we've done today which has actually been quite fun yeah we're on this one i'm gonna sit downstairs and read it now forward to it i'm loving the fact that i'm reading ice hockey again head back on into the video now after this little little life update So I've only read this one with Oxley and Ava in this type of series. I didn't realise that these books were all of the kids of these lot from the Swift Hattricks trilogy in like the amateur love one. I never realised that. I have not read, I've only read one. I've got the other one on my Kindle. I've got between periods on my, is it between periods? No, I've got Bliss Book Hook on my Kindle. Oh, I don't know what to do, but I think I'm going to start this one because I'm really excited too and everyone says I need to read this. So we're just going to have to not get confused. <laughs>
finished her i actually finished her on holiday but this is the first time i've had a chance to like sit and speak to you about her so i have finished her greatest mistake by hannah cohen i am obsessed legit obsessed i have been posting on my tiktok about this basically since i finished it constantly i am in love with this book so this one is a nice hockey book obviously we're doing a nice hockey reading vlog obviously it's gonna be ice hockey so Braxton is a vet and she had to eight years ago push her long like her childhood best friend and childhood lover away who they're both still in love with each other because of the fact of her father and him going into the NHL and all of that jazz and they have to fake date yes my love this is a fake dating childhood friends to lovers and i am obsessed i'm gonna put some quotes on the screen that i've saved i may have also shown them whilst i was reading but my god these two characters like Braxton and docs like they're just everything you're reading it i want a romance like you like you two you two are cute like so freaking cute if you want a cute like childhood friends to lovers which you know isn't my vibe but somehow hannah cohen has made it my vibe like friends to lovers like fake dating ice hockey romance that you're going to be obsessed with that you're not going to be able to stop thinking about these two characters this is the book to go for like i cannot stop thinking about them when she was like she has her own like veterinary practice that she looks after dogs she names one of her dogs hades when you find out why so freaking cute like these two cannot forget about each other like yeah also it's a floppy book so you're reading it you don't break the spine which for me big deal big freaking deal like they have to learn to trust each other again and you're just like i i'm obsessed with you like you two are the cutest thing ever i don't know how to explain it without just saying cuteness because these two but uh, obviously end of the video will have my full wrap up at the end of like all my thoughts and feelings once i've contributed and like made my brain work because i've seen destiny do this where she goes like talks about it and then does her full thoughts at the end with all of the books and i prefer that vibe so that's what we're gonna be doing but this book go read it just go grab it go read it you'll love it and because you'll see the other characters in this book like they're all siblings in the next book so you're gonna be like i want to read the next book so badly about his sister and their best mate i'm so freaking excited for it i am vibing with it but this book chef's kiss beautiful and as you could probably tell the next book that we're reading is the risk so i'll be speaking to you about the risk very very soon but yeah Reading, well i'm reading it on my kindle but i've got the physical okay if i'm ever feeling the physical book the issue with these books is i don't want to break the spine so i won't be reading them easily so you girls reading it on the kindle because it's so much but i keep bookmarking where i am in this so i can see the progress like in the book versus currently i'm chapter 19 i am 45 percent of the way into this book i read the majority of it when i was traveling home on saturday because we went away but I yesterday I went to my mate's house to watch the F1, which by the way, Charles Leclerc won fucking freaking Monaco. He won Monaco, guys. That's all I've been thinking about in my head. All I can think about is the sound in 2017 when his father passed away. He told him a lie, but he made that dream come true. I was like, I'm gonna cry. I always did cry, but uh, yeah, I'm currently reading this. I have been filming today, so you know we've not been getting that much reading done but i'm gonna sit here i'm gonna start reading this I might go out later on because your girl wants to try and update her like setup for editing make it easier for herself so she may be spending some cash and getting an updated thing anywho but yeah um i'm currently on chapter 19 i would really like to make it to chapter 25 and then that means i've read about 10 chapters around about in the last two days which would be really helpful but yeah, I'm gonna start reading this and we'll see what happens. We'll see where we get to. Hello. 
we've got beautiful sunshine and it's come up in time because for some reason on an evening my room gets really nice sunshine anywho we're going to be going through and talking about all the books that i've read in this reading vlog we have read four of them three of them were physical one of them was on my kindle so we're gonna get dive straight into this full-on wrap-up of all of these books first one we read was on steady by peyton corney this book was so good if you love binding 13 and like that series like i do you'll enjoy this it's a shorter version and it's ice hockey and a figure skater she has to look after her brothers similar to binding 13 while she's in college because of a dad who's an alcoholic which you learn about why he was caused like that why the boys are into hockey and all of that jazz like and the other guy is an ice hockey player who's been in an incident and is having to relearn like how to not be scared when he is like on the skates and on like the road and stuff because he had an incident and he's having to learn about that so he suffers with panic attacks she suffers with panic attacks but does how to deal with them and it's kind of just like this emotional but heart-wrenching story about these two play these two people and they meet in the ice ring it's really good i annotated it it was a really good read to annotate i'm too hot in this jumper up here Whew. i annotated it i don't annotate many books and i wouldn't have normally annotated this just because like i paid full price for it i only really annotate books that i didn't put pay full price for or i get from the works just due to the fact they're quite expensive books um but i decided to annotate this one because of the fact of like i knew it was gonna be like similar buying in 13 vibes so i wanted to annotate it and look for a romance book that annotation is a lot like i don't annotate a lot one of the quotes i just found just right now i would bleed myself dry if it meant i could take your pain away now tell me like this book will have you almost in tears this book will have like the emotional roller coaster it was everything i believe i gave this a 4.5 or a 4.75 star read it was not a five star read but it was amazing i actually read this at a similar time that kaya one of my book friends did she rated it a five star my rate was just slightly lower because i have high 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 expectations for ice hockey romance like to give it a five star it's got to be unbelievable this was really good and i will highly recommend it to so many people like if someone goes do you want an ice hockey romance I would tell them this one because currently it's a standalone if they don't want to get into a massive series i would always recommend this one so i did really enjoy it and i would rate it the next one that we read was the fake out by stephanie archer i enjoy this people so this is going to be better than the first one which is behind the net and it is this is a fake dating romance the girl is the sister to the one in the first book and she does not date ice hockey players at all she has a history with them does not want to be anywhere near them but she has to fake date this guy and they were like childhood have gone through a lot of stuff together so that was really a good book i did really enjoy it i think i've read that many ice hockey books that most of them merging together this is the issue this is why i have such high standards for ice hockey books especially with giving them five stars it's just because of the fact that i read that many they all merge together and it's got to be like a lot to stand out this i believe i gave it like a four point a four four point five like i loved it i read it in an entire day like i did not put that book down i read it from start to finish in one day which for me that's impressive and i don't do that very often with books so that meant that i did really enjoy it i got really really liked it i really liked like some of the aspects in it especially with like them knowing each other from such a young age i've actually started loving that trope the trope where they actually know each other from such a young age it's not my normal thing that i enjoy but i did and i have recently been really liking it and yeah it was just something a bit different i preferred it to the first one but i think they were on par with each other so if you want a really good ice hockey series i would highly recommend to read stephanie archer's ice hockey romance series because they go hand in hand and they're really good and they're currently being traditionally published they're still on kindle unlimited though um which i really like the fact that even though they're being traditionally published they're still on ku because they were originally indie published i hate it when a book especially in the uk gets traditionally published and then they take it off ku and you're just like why did you do that but anywho it's completely fine the next book i read is her greatest mistake by hannah cohen this is another one that was indie published and now has been traditionally published i think actually all of these were indie published and now become traditional published which i vibe with but this one is 
about a childhood friends to lovers they haven't seen each other in eight years he's in the nhl and they have to fake a date because of a scandal that has happened and she's the only way to get him out of the scandal says the guy and the coach and stuff so she gets involved due to the fact that her father is involved in it all they've not spoken since something happened majorly eight years ago which you start off with so it does go back in time in like certain chapters but that you need to get the preface of this book these books there are three in the series but they're like not all ice hockey but the first one isn't ice hockey and she's a vet she has her own like veterinarian place she is so cute she calls one of the dogs hades and when you learn why it is the cutest thing ever braxton and maddox is two of my favorite characters like i freaking love these two like i was reading this book and i was like i'm in love i wish i annotated it but i did in fact take photos and then annotate it that way which i've been loving recently because it's like i said i don't really love writing in my books all the time so i like the fact that on iphone you have that effect of you can actually like highlight on it so it's really good really enjoyed it love hannah cohen's books have done for a long time i have loved her books for a very long time and i'm really glad that i'm starting to get around to the series i cannot wait to carry it on i'm so excited for the next one as well which is about his younger sister because they're all the three people it does explain in the beginning i did explain when i think earlier on but there's a little family tree so if you want to you, you can always read the series before which is called the swift hatch tr hat trick series and that shows you and then these are of their kids so you can see how it goes i've already read yeah lucky here i've got blissful hooks so i think i'm going to read that that's my kindle recommend to read if you you can read this without reading that series but i read lucky hit then this and there's parts where you get oakley's point of view and it makes more sense because you know who oakley is that you have getting his point of view so i would actually probably recommend to read that series before this one but i did really enjoy it then the final book that we read was the race by l kennedy i started this on my kindle because i didn't have the physical book with me when i started it and then i just finished it on my kindle i actually finished this today i really did enjoy it i believe i gave this about 3.5 stars for all on ku which i'm really happy about the fact they're on ku because then if you've got it and you've got a physical book you can swap between i don't want to read the physical book one because i was on my kindle and wasn't really paying attention to how long i had left but as well like these books you don't really want to break the spine of them i don't like breaking the spine especially with these type of books it wasn't my favorite but l kennedy's ice hockey series for me are always them palette cleansers like it's an all right read it's not going to be anything special it's not going to be like breathtaking they're just okay like in the world of ice hockey books like these are the ones you want to start with and you will think they're everything they're like the intro to ice hockey books and then the moment you've read these series you'll find the ones that i personally think are a lot better so yeah i really do enjoy it i will carry it on i'm nervous carrying the series though because my friend said that the last one just skip it like she was like don't read it just a waste of time obviously i'm going to read it though because this is me if i start a series i need to finish the series but yeah, I am excited to see where this goes. I'm excited to kind of finish it. It doesn't be the Off Campus series. I won't lie, the Off Campus series is just kiss everything. But I did like the fact that this is the enemy's person that she was getting with. She's a coach's daughter. She starts dating with someone from another team. And the vibe from going with that, it's really funny. There is some really funny scenes in it. And she's like, I can't be with you because you are literally the enemy. You are the enemy. And I was like, love, he is not the enemy. Let's be real now. But I did like it. I also like the fact of we got some of Mike's relationship. That book is going to be hilarious. I cannot wait for Hunter's book though. Hunter's book is where it's at and it's the next one. I am so excited to be like, hmm, who are you? What's going on here? But I did really enjoy it. I fact that I just there was so much emotional stuff to it, but I just don't think I was vibing the characters. I think after reading like these two books. And then reading this, like these were just so much better and had, I don't know, just L. Kennedy hits when you want it to hit. Like when you're in a slump, you read L. Kennedy, you get out of that slump. Like that's who she is for me. She's nothing breathtaking. But yeah, I did really enjoy it. But yeah, these are all the books that I've read. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any book recommendations you want to leave for me. What book videos do you want to see? Do you want to see more reading vlogs, like specific ones? Do you want to see book recs? Tell me what you want to see and I will start filming them for you because it's summer I can actually film after I finish work for once. It is currently like, it's like half seven and this is the sun in my bedroom. Like, 
filming after work is going to be amazing so i will be getting a lot more videos out for you guys so hope you do enjoy and i'll see you guys next time in my next video